Lesson 4, Influence and Power. Project managers are vested with authority on the project by the organization. This is described in the project charter, which lines out the different elements of the governance in the project and who has authority on the project resources. This authority provides the level of influence on the project, and the project manager then uses this influence to establish his or her power. There are two groups of powers. The first one is formal power, which includes coercive, reward, and legitimate power. And the second group is personal power, which includes expert and referent. Let's look at these in more detail. Coercive power. This is the use of some form of punishment or penalty or threat to persuade people to do things. It is a bad type of power, but it sometimes is used to make sure that people are able to follow a certain instructions or do some work and if they don't do it. There is some kind of penalty like getting fired or having some problems in terms of their performance review. The next one is reward power. That involves the use of incentives such as money, status, promotions, or official recognition, or even a special work assignment. There is this power that the project manager can use depending on the resources available and the organizational policies in terms of giving people some kind of reward in order for them to accomplish a specific task. Expert power is the power that the project manager uses in terms of his level of expertise to influence the team to follow directions. If the team perceives that the project manager is an expert in the area of the project, then they are going to be most likely to follow his direction. The next one is called legitimate power, and this is based on the authority, and it's used by the power that was vested on the project manager to make all decisions and assign work to the project team. It is based on the hierarchy of the organization. It is, it is the formal type of power that is given to the project manager. The next one is called referent power. And referent power means the power that the project has in terms of his own charisma. It's their leadership qualities, the level of trust that uh, he has on the, the team and how the team then uh, has a trust on the project manager. And that is his ability to build the relationships with the team and the team is more willing to follow his instructions and follow his leadership. All of these type of powers will depend, again, on the culture of the organization. Some organizations are going to be more open to a specific types of reward or maybe legitimate power or expert power, and also on their own personality of the project manager and even the type of project, a high risk project and terms that is more focused on delivering um, goods will have more of a, a type of Reference or expert power and different type of projects will requ require different type of influence and power to manage that. All of these types of powers also can also change depending on the organization that are going to be working on. The culture of the organization is going to set up certain guidelines in terms of what it is perceived as the power that is vested on the project manager to use it in the project team.